All right, in a previous video, I talked about uh, rotary encoders, shaft encoders. Um, I got these out of a, a, a control box that had a bunch of uh, knobs in it. There's a whole bunch of 616 of these, I guess. And these were uh, HP, HP shaft encoders. Um, so uh, having lunch with a friend of mine, he, he worked on these projects. And he had some things that he thought I'd be interested in, so he gave them to me. Uh, one is a unit that they shot in clear plastic. So these were fairly unusual. They wouldn't do many of these, but they would ask the vendor to shoot clear plastic in the mold. The vendors didn't like to do that because they, they needed to clean it out and get their black, you know, plastic working again. Uh, but you could request them to do a clear shot. Um, probably expensive, but anyway. So they did a clear shot on this one. Um, it has a has a rotary encoder in there. It has, it's made of two components. These are kind of uh, all put together singly. This one, it comes in two different pieces. There's, there's one piece inside that's in that brown there. Um, and that's the actual emitter detector part. And then the wheel is in there on a shaft. Um, and so by putting those two things together, you end up with one. The other one didn't have that internal unit. It had just two little PC boards that were, that were glued in there. Um, so this is kind of a later, a later version. So this uh, emitter detector here was just a lead framed part. It, it, was, it was cheaper to do it this way. It was cheaper to make this one and then put it inside of something else than to make one entire one. Um, so anyway, uh, he gave that to me. Uh, the glue is frozen up on this one also, as they all do, it seems. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think there's any part numbers on here. Uh, no, I don't see part numbers. There's an HP, HP logo there. If I get the glint just right, you can see the HP. Um, internally, the part that's used would, was an HDES 9100, a HEADS 9100. Um, and I believe this particular type of encoder, this, the brown part here was called the Zipper Project. Um, that was the code name for it. I don't, I'm not sure about the code name for the whole big thing, but uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Now, um, when I did the video on these before, I showed you how they're constructed, how there's a wheel and how there's a phase plate and all that other stuff. And those were made out of uh, chemically etched stainless steel. I'll, I'll put a link down below for that, that older video. Um, he, he showed me this, which was pretty cool. Um, so, um, because that is a chemically etched process, it's kind of like etching a PC board or making a photograph. And so there's, a, there's some type of master, uh, let's see, what would it be? Master artwork master artwork for the whole thing. And then that master artwork may be very, very large and it gets photo reduced. And that photo reduction then is at one to one. And that photo reduction at one to one is actually used to be the master to make the parts, make those um, etched, uh, etched um, stainless steel parts. Well, this is a photo, this is a photo master. Uh, it's very, very cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Uh, I mean, not, not for this product. I've seen them for other, other types of things, but yeah, this is, uh, let's see, I can hold it this way. I can read the numbers. Yeah. Uh, 30th of July, 1985. And that's when I was working there. <laughs> uh, this is an A300 C, but you can see this is the photo artwork for the actual, um, code wheel. And my friend corrected me. What I thought looked like a little barcode in there was actually, it, it's a phased, a phased signature that, that is used to generate a zero pulse. So you know exactly where zero, zero pulse is in. It's almost like a vernier type of arrangement, a fancy little digital vernier thing. Um, so anyway, that's the Codewell phase plate. And then the emitter detector, this would be the emitter phase plate and the detector phase plate are the opposite way around. And I showed that on the, on the other video. I'll, I'll see if I can get some better pictures of this. We'll get the other lens out. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, artwork for the, uh, for the code wheel. 
And here is the uh, faceplate. You can see uh, something to point with here. You can see the little faceplate here. There's these little slots that the uh, that uh, this code wheel then goes across those slots and introduces kind of a vernier type effect. And then uh, there's two channels of those and uh, with with the phasing. So these these are phased with these. So one of these is the emitter and one of these is the detector and they're phased to give good quadrature. And then the extra channel down here, these two down here are for the index pulse. So yeah, there you go. Original artwork, uh, 30th of uh, July, 1985. It takes me back. A300C, yeah, so pretty, pretty amazing stuff. All right, I thought you guys got a kick of that. Let, let's take a look at the uh, box itself. The box might be interesting. Okay, IMS, International Masking Services. So they, they did the photo reduction and made this plate. Uh, they were here in Mountain View, California, home of Google now. Customer was HP, and there's the device, 1985, quantity two of three. So they asked for three of these things. Um, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, the last thing it gave me was this box. And uh, this box says HP, reflective sensor evaluation box. Turn knob slowly while pressing button. Um, and it's in a little bud box and it's hinged and inside is a, a wheel that you can turn and a button that you can press. Uh, then it's got some LEDs. So it has the A channel, B channel. So as you turn this thing that it should, you should see the quadrature flash over here. Now, this is a demonstration of, I don't think this comes, no, this doesn't come out, but this is a demonstration of a reflective code wheel. So it's only a one sided. So the emitter and the detector only come from one side. And then this is, has reflective uh, ones and zeros, the reflective or non-reflective things as you spin it around. Um, so it requires you to put in a nine volt battery and then this thing should work. Um, now what's super cool is this little, this little label here, HP confidential, please return to Hewlett Packard. Um, so yeah, this is super, super secret in the day. Uh, only certain customers got to see this. So let's, uh, let's pull this out. Oh, there's our nine volt connector. Uh, let's see, I think I have a nine volt battery laying here. Just a second. Okay, let's put on a nine volt battery. Push the button. Oh, look at that, look at that. Let me kill the, let me kill the room lights because they're a bit annoying. Oops, there we go. Now I can't see anything. Let me turn on a little bit of desk lamp here so we can at least see a little bit. And then I turn this on and eh, still can't quite see that. Pretty, pretty dim. Okay, we can see the green LED come on there and we get this one here. And if I rotate it, yeah, rotate slowly. There's our, there's our quadrature. One, both, z off, on. There we go. Da, 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 da. If I go the opposite direction, it does the opposite thing. There you go. So you gave this to somebody and they spun the wheel and they go, yeah, looks like an encoder. And it goes from one side. That might be better than going from in and out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll turn the room lights back on. There you go. Some cool demo box that somebody made and uh, has a product in it. I don't know if that product ever made it out the door either. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's kind of hard to see down in there. But uh, it's a little surface mount. It looks like a, an eight pin surface pound, SO, SO8, gull, gull wing part. And it's all uh, uh, clear epoxy. Uh, yeah, it was all clear epoxy and the little lenses would be molded into that as well. So not only is it a package, it has lenses 
uh, molded into that as well. So it's everything inclusive. So that's kind of a cool little design. Anyway, there you go.